I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Hate to interrupt, but... Oh, perfect timing. V? Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need- I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. 
There's no time to waste, B. Fucking worked. And done. Systems ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough in a fight against multiple sclerosis. Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Already seven firefighters combating the blaze have died, and another 40 have suffered from severe burns and toxin exposure. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. ...created by Raven Microcybernetics has been lauded for several of her works over the years. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Forgot five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. You will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. The risks are substantial, yes, but we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. It is ultimately to defend the well-being of my family. Cook! Louder! Employees. Louder! 
Yorinobu in the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. They surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. So. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Got factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about them some other time. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, you think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Come. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I'm simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, 
while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plants. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. So brew Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough, or well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Pipes, see him? We could use them to get inside. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. This is not bad. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampeki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we going in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? So? It's a cat like any other. It is the first animal I see in Night City. 
except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. A back and echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic lets you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Miss Home? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Racing my barber for the first time through the hills? Oh, and uh... First kiss in the middle of a synth corn field. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed, Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge. That is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. But all he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Slaving away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh yes, because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses? Attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly, this is true. You already forget what happened at Tom's diner? 
People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame them either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not, family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Don't be smart. Got no idea what I feel. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Baganeko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine to do. I'm in. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. I will draw their attention away. Mm, rather clever. That's why I'm here. Very well. I have reached the roof. I'll be in their communication system soon.
Stuttgart. Climb the pipe. About to go in. All is good here also. I just evaded the patrol. Okay, I'm in. Find the largest float. They are controlled from inside. That tech. It could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room. I'll make the system sick. Better check that out. Of course. I think I saw something. On my way to investigate. I've got this.
All clear. Okay. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha. <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me! The roof! That is your will! There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. <laughs> As if I wasn't in enough already. River. B, hey, I need your help. Sounds like it. What happened? I should talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then.
pays every month. Pays a lot. To pay when you redecorate the highway with his fucking brains. You yeah. mean Sixth Street? See, if you're getting everything mixed up now. Sell him Don't out overthink this. I will pay No mas aslo. Besides, that pinche cabrón has connections to Grove Street. You think that's what Lisa would have wanted? Revenge. She wanted like that. Fuck the Eddies. You see them too, don't you? The curve in their beaks. It hides something. Something insidious. You mean... Flamingos? So they are real. Flamingo. Flaming. Oh, the O. That's oxygen. There's no flame without oxygen. Listen, you... Call me Clarice. Okay, Clarice. The flamingos are a problem, I'm sure. But it's time to go home. Delamine's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence them. So, a slaughter. Very well, Judgment Day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. Well, Clarice, have the flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Only one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. Clarice? Shut down. I've just re-established contact with the missing vehicle. Splendid work, V. First class. I shall forward a share of your fee.
Again. Ugh. Grabbing us. A... 
Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. This is in Night City. Why has it got to be Sixth Street Turf? Oh, my fucking head. Must have been that rotten Eskif.
Not again. Uh.